Hello everybody, today is April 7th, 2016. I have a disclaimer for this video. If you grew up thinking that Darth Vader said to Luke Skywalker, no, I am your father in the Empire Strikes Back, or if you didn't grow up with Jiffy Peanut Butter and it has always been Jif, or maybe if you remember J.C. Penney is J.C. Penney, P-E-N-N-E-Y, um, you might not want to watch this video. You probably won't understand this video. So you can just go ahead and forget your comments about, you know, people not having good memories and all that. We don't need to hear that. This is for people who have been affected by the Mandela effect and who have noticed it. I personally have had a profound effect in my life as a result of being aware of this and I've been noticing it a little bit as time has gone on but since I started researching it I've noticed so many more things that I remember being different and the globe is one of them so I wanted to talk about the globe today I wanted to start off with the United States you know let me say before we get into this I understand that the way the globe is right now the way that the the map is, the atlas has always been this way. I understand that. Nothing has changed, okay? Don't be getting confused thinking that I think that it used to be something else. In this reality, where most of you find yourselves that are leaving these little comments about, you know, well, people and especially Americans are notoriously bad at geography. So most of them are just ignorant and, you know, they don't know where anything is. They didn't pay attention to school and all this stuff. I'm the type of guy who looks at the world atlas or just kind of looks at where con countries are and where cities are as opposed to watching Dancing with the Stars or something like that. I'm a researcher. That's what I do. The past 10 years, I've spent my time researching. A lot of it's financial. Most of my videos are on the financial markets. But right now, I haven't cared to pay much attention to that for the first time in several years. I still am paying attention to it, but not like I was. I'm more fascinated with this because no one has an explanation what's going on here. And this isn't just uh, misremembering things because I don't see how so many people could all misremember the same exact stuff. It doesn't make any sense to me. So let's get into this real quick here. Um, the United States, Florida looks a little bit smaller than I remember it. Cuba certainly looks larger than I remember it kind of closing off the Gulf of Mexico here. I don't remember Cuba looking like this. A major change that looks a lot different to me is the positioning of South America to North America. I re My wife's from Peru. I've been here twice. And from where I live here in California, I don't remember traveling this direction. I remember more kind of at an angle here along Mexico and my memory says that Peru was right about here so it seems like 20 30 degrees or so this is all shifted South America has shifted further over this way now with the changes of the continent it looks like the continents haven't drifted as far apart as my memory serves you know Africa being closer to South America here than what I recall. I remember this this here landmass being further over this direction, maybe here. Not directly below, but not as far east as it is now in relationship to North America. And Mexico just doesn't look right, just the, the shape of it. As you grow up in certain families, you're told that there's a Santa Claus and that he comes from the North Pole. Well, there is no North Pole. So, you know, that's just a incredibly stupid idea that he could even come from the North Pole because there's no North Pole. There's Greenland and Iceland and this, which I never even heard of here. It's uh, Svalbard. Let me see. Svalbard. Never even heard of this. And the relationship between Greenland and Ice Iceland just looks a little too small. But there's no North Pole. Just the Arctic Sea. I don't remember Alaska and Russia being 50 miles apart. There's only about 50 miles here. If I had to guess, 
before I started researching all this stuff, I would have said it was at least four or five hundred miles apart, not fifty. I mean, they're practically touching now. I mean, they've always been practically touching, but that's not what's in my memory. So let's move along here. Uh, Korea, North Korea, South Korea. Our, does anyone else remember when you were a kid or when you're in your 20s or whatever? Just do you remember seeing these way down here in relationship to China? It just seems like they're way far north and they weren't this close to Japan. And I don't remember North Korea having a border with Russia right here. North Korea borders Russia along with China. I don't remember that. I'm saving the best for last because this is the one that just really just totally blew my mind when I noticed this. It's weird how I've been looking at maps the past years, but it wasn't until my son started asking me questions and then told me about the Mandela effect. And then I started doing research and then someone said, well, Hey, go look at the world map. And I did. And it's like just from them saying to go look at the world map, it looked totally different than what I always remember. So I, this Mandela effect is just such a weird thing. And I know it is for a lot of people and people who don't have, don't feel the effect. They just think all these people just have bad memories and that, you know, it's conspiracy theory. I've been getting so upset lately seeing people do videos on Mandela effect conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy theory is when two or more people plan something in secrecy that's harmful or illegal. How is the Mandela effect two or more people planning a harmful or illegal act in secrecy? What? They don't even know what conspiracy theory is. Nowadays, just they, people throw that around conspiracy theory like you're a nutcase if you even entertain any ideas about conspiracies. There's so many darn conspiracies around you can spend your whole life trying to pick them all apart. But this is not a conspiracy theory, so... Uh, it just been pissing me off lately seeing how so many people are talking about conspiracy theories Mandela effect so I wanted to talk about Sri Lanka I don't remember Sri Lanka being here I remember it being over here over it, it looks so out of place over here in the southeast of, of India I remember being not directly below it maybe just a hair over to the left Next, I want to talk about Italy. I don't remember Sicily and Italy almost touching one another. Seems like they were further apart. I mean, it looks like you throw a rock across here now. What is this? Maybe... Look at these little boats here. I mean, this is just... I don't know, a couple miles? You zoom out and, you know, pretty much looks like one landmass. So... I don't know. I remember looking at this a lot. My ancestors come from here. I remember thinking how it would be if this boot kicked the ball here as a kid. It looked like a boot kicking a ball. I don't remember the ball sitting on the toes. Just doesn't look like how I remember. Moving on down. I wanted to talk about... Um, well, before I talk about that one, let's look over here real quick. And we'll look at uh, China. This here, Mongolia, I don't recall. I, I know I've heard of Mongolia, but I don't recall it being its own huge country like this. I it seems like China absorbed it. I remember being part of China, not its own separate country. And China looks a lot smaller now. It's almost the size of the US. I remember being much larger than what I recall now. All right, so now for the big one. Well, Madagascar looks bigger too, before I get to the big one. Looks bigger than I remember. Okay, here's the big one. Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand further south of Australia. I remember New Zealand being in the Ring of Fire. So the Ring of Fire comes right here along the west coast of the United States. Alaska comes up here around Japan. The Ring of Fire comes down and I remember New Zealand being here. On kind of the northeast side of Australia. It's way south. It's way below Australia. I remember Australia being down here. I don't remember it like a hundred miles from Papua New Guinea. And I don't remember this shape at all. 
the shape of Australia looks so odd to me. This huge chunk taken out of it, it and it seemed more rounded. Now, I've seen th uh, threads of people talking online on Reddit and stuff where people from Australia and New Zealand are saying, you stupid Americans, I've lived here my whole life, blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously, they're not affected by this Mandela effect, and they're not seeing the changes. But I've been looking at this my whole life. I always thought it was, you know, it was all the rest of the world was so far together, was, was close, and then Australia was just so far down here on its own with nothing around it. But, but uh, New Zealand, which was up over here, and Tasmania, which even kind of looks odd, just chipped off like this. I could have always been that way. I just don't remember that. But I remember New Zealand being up here, <laughs> and I remember Australia being way down here in the middle of the ocean, away from everything else. So the fact that it's slammed up here against East Asia, it, it just looks so odd to me. So that's it. I just wanted to point this out. Uh, please leave comments down below so we can talk about this. You can go ahead and some of you I know you're going to leave your comments that I didn't pay attention to school and all this bullshit. Whatever. I don't care. Just go ahead and leave them. I understand why you're leaving them because this sounds crazy to anyone who doesn't have these memories. But for so many of us to remember these things the same, it's just it's just unexplainable. Now there's also people who remember New Zealand being over here <laughs> now I don't know are those people from a different timeline I mean I don't understand how some people could think it's over here others thought it was up here and others said it's always been here so there's like three different groups don't know what's going on if you haven't seen my last video you may want to check that out uh, I've known there was this consciousness shift coming in the human race I've been talking about it for years I knew it was coming I didn't know how it would manifest so it's happened and so, but I, I, you know, I don't have an explanation what exactly is happening. I've just been part of this and I knew something was coming. And I think there's going to be another change at some point in the future. Now, it took me like a week to come to terms with this. And I finally came to terms with it. And I've been feeling great and excellent. I've been listening to some new YouTubers that I probably never would have found. I've been living more in the now. I've been thinking about my reality differently. Um, I'm kind of go along the lines of trying to think positive and creating a reality that you want. I've been thinking that way for a long time, but it just feels like I'm closer to it now. It just it just feels different. I don't know. I've, this whole Mandela effect thing has had a profound effect on me, and I'm happy that it's happened. At first, it kind of scared me, and I've seen comments of people who feel scared. You know, they think they live in this linear timeline where everything happens in progression, but I don't know. I, at this point, I'm just uh, feeling pretty good about being part of this, this group that's kind of like shifted. I mean, I don't know. I don't fully understand it, but really incredible, everybody. It's just an incredible time to be alive and uh, get ready for... My next video, I'll be talking about more effects that I've noticed. If you're interested in that type of thing, some people don't want to, don't really care about the individual changes, you know, that they remember. That's fine. Some people feel more secure, and they it gives them a better feeling to know that there's other people that have these same thoughts because it's so hard to imagine things not being the way you thought they always were. So I'm making that for those people. Uh, and then I'm going to either do another separate video on some of the anatomy stuff. I mean, really, I'll leave you with this. It, it seems like the globe is at a lot, lot older phase in its evolution than what I remember, with the continents not being so spread apart yet. And then the, the shape of our skull having these cutouts on the sides that I don't recall is more Neanderthal-like. It's like we haven't evolved uh, from... The consciousness, my consciousness being in a place where I remember it like that. But anyway, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you all soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave comments down below. One last thing that I wanted to point out here in New York. It's probably, I don't know, 20 years ago, went to the Statue of Liberty. I took photos and I was analyzing those photos recently because I saw someone do a video on New York. And it looked different. 
than I had remembered uh, near Manhattan in Brooklyn. Now, some people have said they don't remember this bridge, the Verrazano Straits. I've never heard of it in my life. Heard of the Brooklyn Bridge. And I was not aware of this bridge here, which could have just been the fact that I wasn't aware of it. But then I went and found other people who live in New York and have never even heard of the bridge. So that's like the craziest thing there. Let's see, get rid of this. Okay, so I wanted to point out the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty National Monument on the Liberty Island here and then Ellis Island. Okay, I remember boarding a little ferry somewhere here from Manhattan and taking it over to the Statue of Liberty. I don't remember passing Ellis Island, which I would have had to have done. I took no photos of Ellis Island. Don't remember passing it. It seems to me like the Statue of Liberty was here you know, like maybe, like maybe here where the circle is, you know, here on Ellis Island. And, you know, Ellis Island, well, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it was there either. But this is right near the Jersey Shore. It's like, it's not even attraction in New York. I thought it was in New York Harbor here. I have lots of photos, and it seems like it was around here, like right on the border. But in, in you know, <laughs> at least new, near New York, not way the heck over here, so far away. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Doesn't look right where the Statue of Liberty is. Not right here, not right near the Jersey Shore, and I don't remember this being here. This just looks odd. When I saw the guy do the video, it just, this all looked odd here from when I came to this area and took photos. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Please let me know if you've been to the Statue of Liberty, if any of this seems odd to you.